So I'm not sure what the fight is between Gorgeous Mbali, whose real name is Mbali Sipapu, and Buzzy B, whose real name is Bootsy. I forgot her surname, but her, her name is Bootsy. Surname starts by M. So we're just going to call them by their Instagram handles, Gorgeous Mbali and Buzzy B. Buzzy B is run by um, Bootsy. Um, yeah, so these two have been going back and forth, back and forth since the beginning of the year. And at first I didn't want to post anything about them fighting because I didn't know exactly what the fight is about. I just know that when one posts a story on social media, it's usually about the other person. And then the other person will um, respond indirectly um, to that same post. But they will never call each other out. But you will get the hint here and there that... Uh, this person is actually referring to the other person. So Bozi wrote on Buzzy B. She said Rihanna posts her kids handle. Oh, Rihanna posts her kids hante. Cardi B posts her kids hante. But when na no name, you come here unprovoked and post your kid that we did not ask you to post and hide their face. Cause Runa Kaufela more, we want to lawyer you. Isn't that so? Runa, we are here for you. And then at the corner there she wrote, I have never followed the three months. So basically she's just talking about somebody who according to her is a nobody and comparing them to Rihanna and she says that Rihanna and uh, Cardi B post their children and they post their faces on their social media but there's nobody according to Buzzy B um, comes in here and hides their face so because I know that Buzzy B and um, Gorgeous Mbali have a history of fighting even though I don't know what the, 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 the source of that is so um, I went back to Gorgeous Mbali Liz page and i found that she does hide her kid yes she does post pictures of her kid but she hides the face and then i also noticed that she also has a hair collection now like shampoos and baby baby products basically that um you know she's she started the business hermosa flow uh, that's a skincare line and then now she since she had a baby she started her most kids and it's like a like h-e-i-r and then mosa kids um so she started that business for her child so that her child can grow up to be an entrepreneur right she's trying to build an empire for the child and then what i noticed is she does post the child's hair the child's face the child's whatever but she'll put an emoji over it you know just to hide the face so that we don't see um the the child's face and then a lot of people um were suggesting that she's hiding the face because the baby's skin is dark so the the child is dark in, complex, in complexion because the father of the child, Sovo, is dark in complexion. So she took the complexion from the child the, from the father. But then my question is, guys, number one, is it okay, or is it not okay for somebody to post their child on social media, whether they hide their face or they show their face? Is it okay? Number two, in Gorgeous Mbali's case, she's a brand um, promoter or a brand um, influencer, if you may. And she uses kids' products on her baby, um, supposedly. You know, the, the kids' products that she created from her brand, Hermosa Kids, right? But when promoting the product, she hides the baby's face. Is it fair to ask the supposed consumers or the potential com consumers for us to buy products um without really knowing how they work on the kid's face for example if she has a face lotion for babies how are we going to know that it works if she has the baby's face you know i understand the hair part but when it comes to you know body um body um lotions and things like that like soaps and shampoos for babies is it fair for us to be sold a product that we have not really seen how it works because you're hiding the baby's face 
also keeping in mind the fact that um, you can still promote a product without showing a face um, because even if you know there's no face to a product like um, like um, a soap that's sold at clicks for example you go to clicks and you buy the product without knowing if it's ever worked on anyone or things like that you buy it unknowingly but for somebody that's trying to promote kids products and i'm not sure if i'm making any sense please don't come for me and say i'm not making any sense but anyway that's your opinion i i don't know how to put the question but i do have the question in mind you know is it okay for people to post their children if yes why and if no why and then secondly would you buy a product from um a promoter who has their child's face but tells you you can go support and buy the baby lotion or baby shampoo or whatever yet you don't even know the baby's face you don't know how it works on their face and you can only assume that their skin tone is the same as your baby's skin tone would you try that out those are the two questions that i think i have right and then also if you think it's not okay to how do you feel about people posting their children and hiding their faces Buddha's question was we didn't ask you to post your child but you're hiding their face so which is which what do you want to post or not do, do you want us to see the child or not do, or do you want us to live with the illusion that your child looks like this and then you hide their face or you just want to show us that you're a mother and you're holding your baby but you don't want us to see the face like i'm just trying to understand the whole concept of hiding the baby's face and not hiding the baby's face I, i'm kind of in between i feel like people should do whatever it is that they want to do but at the same time why are you posting your baby's face and then putting an emoji over it like why don't you just not post it leave it for whatsapp maybe i don't know like i think it's a conversation that we need to have because i've seen a lot of people do this and there are some people who really don't mind posting their babies on social media for example sneezy the 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 musician she posts her child I'm not sure if the child has reached a year old because some people don't post their children before one year. And you remember also the the fight that Cashflow had with Dumi, the ex-wife or soon-to-be ex-wife. I'm not sure if they've separated officially now because Dumi didn't want their daughter to be on social media yet Cashflow posts their daughter on social media. And they also Cashflow is also went live on Instagram with their daughter. I'm still going to post that live actually but yeah it's a conversation that i feel like um, it needs to be discussed like i'm not sure how i feel about this thing of posting children on social media and actually while we're still talking about children i don't believe in posting other people's children like other people like somebody's child on your social media i don't believe in that but with that being said i feel like it's the parents um consent or the parents permission that's supposed to allow you to use other people's pictures especially of children on social media most of the actually all the videos that you see on my youtube channel that have babies faces are taken from social media meaning they've been posted by their parents if the parent decides to hide their face even if i do have a picture from somewhere else that has the baby's face i'm also going to put an emoji over that youtube video but if the picture just like the one on the screen um is barefaced it means that it's it was posted by the parent on social media so i do remember that um temi and pisane posted Cicello's child on social media and people had a problem with that because Cicello had never posted her child before she turned one that's the second daughter um since Cicello, you remember Cicello has three children that was a big issue because Cicello had never posted but I feel like if that picture was posted by the parent first, then we can also use it because it is on social media. But you cannot post somebody's child without an emoji when the parent uses an emoji. But going back to the Bali and Buzzy Bees situation, how, what are your thoughts on that?